monumental tropical rainforests of Malaysia, in the heart of Southeast Asia, are among the oldest and most biologically diverse in the world. Many of its flora and fauna are found nowhere else. Tropical rainforests act as the lungs of the planet, absorbing carbon dioxide while producing a significant amount of the world's oxygen. They stabilize global weather, produce nourishing rainfall, and prevent floods, droughts, and erosion. Forests teeming with plants and wildlife still cover about 54% of Malaysia's land area, but only 11% is pristine. Deforestation is a major concern due to urbanization, agriculture, and logging activities. Loss of habitat leads to human-wildlife conflict with tragic outcomes. Poaching of plants and animals for the multi-billion dollar illegal wildlife trade is also a major threat. Four conservation initiatives are making a difference in Malaysia's dense jungles. Tropical Rainforest Conservation and Research Centre, TRCRC, protects increasingly rare and endangered plant species. Project Monyet is documenting and photographing its entire 26 primate species. Gaia focuses on its hornbills, of which 10 species can be found here and Rimao strives to save the critically endangered Malayan tiger. The biggest of the big cats, tigers live in a range of environments across Asia. One of its nine subspecies, magnificent Malayan tigers, are found only in peninsular Malaysia. Tigers, unlike domestic cats, love being in water to cool off and even have webbed paws. They are solitary creatures. In the rainforest, tigers occur at very low densities of one to two tigers per hundred square kilometers due to lack of prey and meet only to mate. In the 1950s, some 3,000 tigers roamed Malaysia's jungles. Today, with less than 200 left in the wild, the Malayan tiger is critically endangered. Poaching is rampant. Every part of the tiger, from whisker to tail, is traded in illegal wildlife markets. Their parts are used for traditional medicine, local remedies, and increasingly as status symbols. Snares are used by poachers to catch tigers and other wildlife who then die a painful, lingering death. The Javan, Bali and Caspian tigers are already extinct. Rimao, founded by Lara Arifin, Harun Rahman and like-minded friends, was set up in 2018 to prevent Malaysia's national animal from going extinct as well, through advocacy, partnerships, increasing awareness and putting boots on the ground. Together with the Perak State Parks Corporation, Rimao has developed a community-based wildlife protection patrol unit called Menrak. This is a specialized wildlife patrol outfit that is made up entirely of the local indigenous Jahai community. With their protection, it is hoped 
the Malayan tiger survives to remain as monarch of the rainforest. If the tiger is magnificent, hornbills are marvelous. With their improbably large distinctive beaks topped with an enlargement called a cask. The rhinoceros hornbill is so named for its particularly splendid cask and is believed to have mystical powers. Ten species of hornbills can be found here. They are omnivorous and by regurgitating seeds they help grow more trees in the jungles. Hornbills are monogamous and pair for life. They nest in tree cavities, either formed naturally or created by the likes of woodpeckers, sun bears or fungi. They return to the same nest year after year. The female seals itself into the cavity using fruit pulp, mud, debris and feces. The male feeds it and the chicks when they hatch through a small opening. This can go on for up to six months, depending on the species. Hornbills are threatened by loss of habitat, especially logging of large trees with suitable nest cavities. The helmeted hornbill is hunted in Asia for its ivory-like cask and is today critically endangered. Gaia was initiated by ecologist Dr. Ravinder Kaur and photographer Sanjit Pal Singh for hornbill research and conservation in Malaysia. Their work includes documenting and studying these unusual birds, planting fruit trees favoured by them, restoring natural tree cavities and building artificial nests. Collaborating with conservation initiative Hutan, Gaia have set up artificial nests along the Kinabatangan River at over 20 meters in height in the canopy for these bodacious birds. In time, hornbills have started using them to raise their young, thus bringing hope for their future. Along with hornbills, the canopy of the Malaysian rainforest is also home to a delightful array of monkeys and apes. 26 species of primates can be found here, the second highest of any Asian nation. Tragically, 19 of them are on the edge of extinction, with the International Union for Conservation of Nature or IUCN's Red List, classifying Bornean orangutans and the Bornean banded langur as critically endangered. Peter Ong started Project Monyet, or the Monkey Project, as part of Roots and Shoots Malaysia in 2017, when, under the instigation of legendary primatologist Jane Goodall, he discovered there was a dearth of information on Malaysia's primates. Four species have had no research done on them. There was a need for images to help researchers learn about our closest living relatives. And so began this quest to photograph all 26 species. Orangutans, for instance, share 97% of our DNA and many more of our physical traits than even chimpanzees. Weighing up to 90 kilograms, they are highly intelligent, use tools and have great capacity to solve problems. They eat a variety of fruits and build complex nests to sleep in every night. A mother will raise her baby alone for six to seven years and will only have a new baby every eight years, a very low reproductive rate. Peter tries to capture the souls of these endearing creatures in his photographs, 
which he hopes will raise awareness on the urgent need for conservation of Malaysia's primates threatened by loss of habitat and the illegal trade in baby monkeys and apes. The loss of biodiversity is one of the greatest environmental challenges the world faces. Tropical Rainforest Conservation and Research Centre, TRCRC, led by Dr. Zeman Zulkifli, was established in 2012 to restore tropical rainforests and address the critical rate of biodiversity loss in Malaysia. TRCRC's mission is twofold to preserve tropical rainforest plant species and lead landscape-wide protection and reforestation projects throughout the country. Up to 80% of Malaysian rainforests are dominated by the Diptocarpaceae family of trees, of which over 50% or 93 species are red-listed. They have a slow reproductive cycle. Seeds are produced during mass flowering and fruiting events which occur only every five to seven years. This is a spectacular sight in the rainforest. Collecting seeds is one of the main aims of TRCRC. These seeds must be germinated and planted to create a living collection of trees that can reproduce perpetually. Seeds from this living collection are then used for future reforestation projects. The Malaysian rainforest and its inhabitants are interdependent. Hornbills and primates ensure the propagation of the trees they call home through seed dispersal. Tigers serve as apex predators. They control natural prey populations, which in turn control vegetation, part of the food web that is essential for the survival of the rainforest. Preserving as well as restoring and reconnecting degraded or fragmented rainforests due to logging, agriculture and development while conserving its remarkable wildlife help ensure humanity has enough oxygen to breathe and water for drinking, agriculture and industries while preventing devastating natural disasters. The efforts of Rimau, Gaia, Project Monyet and TRCRC have far-reaching benefits, creating an abundantly beneficial and breathtaking kaleidoscope for future generations to marvel at and enjoy.